tell, make sure you tell my husband I did not go crazy this year. So stay tuned, you gotta see the fleeces. Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish. How are you guys? This is my spring 2019 fleece unboxing. I went very easy this year. You guys may have seen my unboxing last year. It was pretty extensive, but I went easy this year for really good reason and I'm about to show you what it is. That's why I'm in a room you've never seen before. I think there are five fleeces in this unboxing because it's spread out over a few weeks. And then there's also one purchase that is not raw fleece. And I already washed a little bit of one of these fleeces I'll show you at the end. But I'm going to show you why I went so easy this year, you guys. This is like seriously embarrassing. But we're going to do it. Ready? This. Oh, you would think angels would sing. This, oh my god, is my fleece closet. So, <laughs> wow. That is all washed and unprocessed, except for there is a big package down there of mill ends to dye. And um, it's just getting so out of control that I took it way easy on fleece this year. I feel like it's time to like spin it down a little bit but you know I'm a sucker for a good deal I couldn't pass up a couple of these I'm gonna show them to you I literally did not get one that I didn't love this year so yeah pretty good reason to maybe take it a little easy huh what do you think there are I think four fleeces in these two boxes and then also I did buy a couple pounds I think it was three pounds of wakaya, a oh, black wakaya, oh. alpaca, and you guys, check this out. Look at it. It is very fine. I prefer wakaya. I have spun surrey, but I feel like it just doesn't have as many uses. It's kind of like, you know, it's so drapey. So that's going to be fun. It's raw. I need to wash it, but I haven't even started yet. And then this is a, I think, silver Rambouillet fleece from a farm in Utah. The farmer's name is Shane McKell. Um, you can find him on Facebook or he sells his Rambouillet fleeces in the raw fleece, raw wool for sale Facebook group. So um, yeah, I've never been disappointed. The last fleece I got, was a white one. I don't think I unboxed it. Hang on, let me show you a little bit of it washed. I have it right here. Okay, so the last fleece I got of his was a white Rambouillet and it is about mm, two, two and a half inches long, which for a Rambouillet is fine. And it's so fine and look how clean it is. It's really a beautiful fleece. There was a little VM in some spots, which he had totally disclosed and I got a good price. You guys might think I shop all the time, but I am a bargain hunter, so even though I do shop all the time, I get good prices on this stuff. Rambouillet fleeces are notoriously huge because the sheep are big. <gasps> oh, can you see this? I love a silver gray fleece. Okay. I remember it was big too, it's like six pounds or something. So, look at this. Look at that staple. It's at least two and a half, maybe three inches, I'm not sure. And other than the tips, which I mean, you gotta expect that, it is a really clean. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. It's huge. Okay, here's a different colored lock. Okay, here's a lock with a different color on it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I gotta get washed in. And then, 
Next, you guys have heard me talk about this farm a million times. It is Fiddle Knoll Farms. She is way at the top of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, um, in, I think just outside of Scandia or maybe in Scandia. Let me see, she's that here? No, she's in Scandia. So no one knows where that is because it's like super tiny. And she's been breeding Romney and CVM, I think she had a few Finn a few years ago, but she doesn't anymore, for quite a long time. I've been buying fleeces from her for like four or five years probably. And um, this year she had somebody commit to buying like a whole bunch of fleeces who then the deal fell through. I don't know the details of it, but she does have more fleeces for sale than normal at this time. Like most of the time, if you got to April, they pretty much be spoken for. So I will put a link to her site below if anybody's interested in going to see what she has left because she has more than normal left of the fleeces. So this is your chance to try them out. She must have really crammed these in here, you guys. Oh, she wrote me a note. I can see it. She's the nicest lady and she's so fun. And she's like a canine um, behavior consultant. So really, I probably need her help on other things like how to get my dogs to stop acting crazy. Okay, let's see, can I get this open? Oh. Yep. Oh, she said, let me know how you like your choices this year. It is a pleasure to work with you. She is so cool. If you buy more than three fleeces too, she gives you like 25% off. Which I do every year. <sighs> okay. Let me get the flaps down so you can really see. All right. So this year I got three different colors. This one just is numbered, it's 214. And I love that she does this. She makes sure you know what sheep is what. And then I always transfer these to the washed bag so that I know. what the fleece, which fleece is which in my closet. If you've never had CVM, it actually stands for California Variegated Mutant. And they are a crossbreed of four different um, types of wool that were bred in an effort to get like a great fleece off a great meat sheep. So, and they, her fleeces are un real oh can you guys really see this look at that get it in the light it's super gloomy so I'm having to use the light today I'm gonna show you guys a lock oh oh they are clean too look at this Wowie. Oh, I cannot wait to wash these. Okay, and they smell good. Some people think that's weird. I'm gonna put this card back in to make sure I don't mess it up. So that was just sheep number 214. This is BJ number 200. This one is silver gray. Can you sense a theme for this year? Oh, I'm gonna open it up better. Wow. Honestly, you guys, I've never opened a fleece that I was disappointed with from her. I'm gonna pull this down so you can see better. Look at that. It's, oh, I almost wish I could let you feel it. Look at those, they're oh, so pretty. And it's, there's just 
I mean, beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna open my last one. And this one is number 247. So what happens is if you get on her mailing list, like if there's a fleece that you like and you can't get it this year, she'll put you on her mailing list or you can reserve it for the following year. All you have to do is just send her a message. And I reserve my fleeces in like, usually I think it's like January or February. She'll send out an email with pictures and you can reserve the fleece that floats your boat. Oh. Wow. Holy cow, this is really black. Look at the t can you see this? Tips? Um, if you were watching the last dyeing video, you know that I bought a black fleece that had sunburnt tips a while back and I actually dyed a black fleece black so that it would really be black. But this would be a lot darker, I bet. Oh, so check that out. That is so pretty and clean. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a few years ago, I bought like three different dark fleeces trying to get a black, true black fleece from her. And I spun up a whole one last year. It's called, it was named Jada, was the name of the sheep. I'm knitting a blanket with it, you guys. I'm going to show you. It is a modified bairn by Brooklyn Tweed. It's kind of hard to spread out while it's on the needle, but I'm going to show you best I can. Oh, yeah, you can see it. As long as there's no... So this is more than half of it. So the other half is the mirror of it. Um, I had, I want to say it was like 2,200 yards, roughly around there, and it's going to make a good six foot by five foot blanket, and I'm knitting it on size six needles, so it's going so fast though, it's like once you know the pattern, you can just fly through it. So, that's from one of her fleeces from a few years back. So this is a fleece that came from Jennifer Smith in Maryland. I thought I was done for this year, but I saw a couple pictures of some blue face Lester, border Lester crosses that she has. And the first one was sold and I was like, do you have another one similar? Before she even had a chance to answer me, I saw a picture of the other one and I just bought it. It was pretty affordable. This is six pound 7.3 ounces in this box. I can't remember exactly how big or how much the fleece weighed, but I think it was around six pounds. Oh wow, okay. So, look at it. There is an envelope in here got my name on it. Oh, here's her card. And she sent me a card. This, this fleece came from a sheep named Daffodil. How cute is that? She's beautiful. It says one third blue face Lester, two thirds border. How do you get a third? She gave birth for the first time to healthy twin ewes. Who are thriving under her attentive care. That's cool. Oh, in 2017, her fleece won fourth place in Maryland Fleece Show and Sale. Holy cow. She is strong and feisty. That means she is for me. Okay, this is my invoice. I think this is really nice to get to see a little bit about the sheep that your fleece came from. Are you ready? Ooh. 
Oh look, wow. This is like above and beyond, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna pull out, it's really clean. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Luther, what are you doing? Holy cow. All right. This has got to be five, six, seven, six inches at least. <sighs> Does it smell good? Does it smell good? Did you get it? Thanks, so. Look at that thing. You beat it. What would you say that is? Seven inches? Six inches at least, right? A tape measure right there. Oh. Okay, so that's an unsharpened pencil for scale. Holy smokes! Look how pretty this is. Okay, these are three pounds of mill ends from Tenny's. Fiber Farm, I just cut them open. I had to the TV on, so I cut that out so you guys wouldn't have to hear it. I have not looked though, and I'm super excited. I've never bought their mill ends before. Okay, hang on. So, ooh, it's a three pounds mill ends on here. I'm just gonna take some stuff out so you can see. Look at this. Can see right now there's some sari silk in there okay I have no idea what any of this is so I'm really just gonna show you that's like light pink kind of light mauve there's some sari silk that's multicolor that's cool Ooh, green multicolor with Sparkle. Oh. Some white, some kind of gold, dark gold. Oh my gosh, turquoise. Orange. John will love that. My husband's favorite color is orange. I think I've mentioned that before. Um, teal. This seems like it might be bamboo, but I. Don't know for sure. Whoops. This is exactly what I needed. So check her out. You can pre-order these on her Etsy site too. Look at that dark red. That's really pretty. Um, you can pre-order and then when she gets big shipments of Millens, she just packages your order then and sends it to you. So check her out. I will link in the description box. Wow, you guys, I'm so excited. See you soon.